mechanics in tennis. Tennis is a racket sport that was invented in 1873 and has always been considered a gentleman's game that should be played with proper manners. It can be played individually against a single opponent, singles, or between two pit teams of two players each, doubles. The object, the object of the game is to hit the ball in such a way that the opponent cannot return it properly. Summation of forces is a biomechanical term that refers to the combination of forces produced by different parts of the human body. Force summation occurs when all body parts act simultaneously in practice to reduce the chance of injury and to improve results. In tennis, summation of forces is a useful tool to employ to create more force, improve endurance and reduce chance of injury. When summation of forces is employed in a forehand, for example, the stroke starts with the lowest and strongest, strongest muscles like your core and legs and finish with the extremities, the lighter, faster body parts like your arms. This should be used for all strokes in tennis and is helpful as using the strongest lower muscles first puts the largest burden on the strongest muscles which can easily handle it. Because the strongest muscles are used first, it improves endurance as it takes longer for these muscles to become fatigued. It is easier to generate more force with larger muscles and reduces injury as the larger muscles aren't as much stress if the weaker upper muscles were used first. A forehand without summation of forces can be classified as a forehand that uses only one sector of the body at a time to hit the ball and is disjointed in the overall, overall movement. This is bad as it is poor movement flow and potentially dangerous as the risk of injury is much higher as the stress from hitting a tennis ball is not properly spread out through the body. However, a forehand with summation of forces starts with the legs starts with the legs pushing against the ground up through your body to your arms to finish off the swing. <clears throat> Using summation of forces is much better as it provides more power and better movement flow. Personally, employing summation of forces in forehands has much improved my game of tennis to really improve force, flow and safety. This has occurred through a focus to incorporate all movements.